Hi guys, how's it going? My name is Annie Faye. For those of you that don't know me, for those of you that do, hello, welcome back. Thank you for joining me again. I just want to apologize. I know it's been a couple of weeks since my last video, but I just went back to work recently and I'm finding it very hard to like work full time and also post two videos a week. But now that I'm like getting back into work and like the routine, um, I'm finding it easier to film. And I'm back with a Tom Ford review. Um, so this is the Traceless Soft Matte Foundation. I purchased this during the Sephora sale. It is originally 110 Canadian dollars. So this is the most I've ever spent on a foundation. I really am expecting to be blown away by this. First thing I'm noticing though, and I mentioned this in my haul as well, is that the packaging, I think I was expecting a little bit more from the packaging for the price point. Um, it's just plastic packaging, which I guess is fine because if I drop it, I'm pretty clumsy. It's not gonna break, but you know, my $50 foundations are like kind of nicer packaging. So it's a little bit disappointing, but it's still very pretty. I like the frosted plastic as well. Yeah, I'm just gonna go ahead and get started. But yeah, I'm gonna do primer on the right side and then no primer on the left. And I think I'm gonna do the same thing with the setting spray. Cause I feel like if I don't do any primer or setting spray, then I'm just gonna obviously hate it since I'm always so well primed and set. But then if I do the full face with primer and setting spray, I feel like that's unfair, you know, cause I'm reviewing the foundation. Like why am I doing everything possible to make sure it's long lasting when it's supposed to be long lasting. Okay, so the Traceless Soft Matte Foundation is a liquid formula, obviously a matte finish, it's there in the title. It's medium coverage, but it's supposed to be very buildable and it comes in 40 shades. So that's a pretty good shade range. I picked up the shade 5.5 Bisque. Ooh, I like, I do like this about the packaging though. So it's a pump, you twist it out and then like as you're using it, this rises. So you can see how much you have left and it really just like you get every single drop of foundation. See, it's a good thing it's plastic. Um, so I'm just gonna start with a couple of pumps. It is very liquidy. As you can see, it's just running down my little palette here. So this here is the side with primer. I did think it would be interesting. Wait, let me take off my earrings. I just used the e.l.f. Poreless Putty Primer, but yeah, it's supposed to make you look really poreless and the foundation claims to do that as well. Formulated with hyaluronic acid and light diffusing microspheres for a blurring effect. Yeah, that's why I wanted to do one side with primer, one side without. Definitely a medium coverage, but I feel like, yeah, I could definitely work this out to be like a full coverage. So far it's looking really nice on my skin. It's definitely a soft matte, like it's matte, but I still have a little bit of like a healthy glow to my skin. Okay, now let me try the side with no primer. Cause like my pores do look pretty blurred. I'm not gonna lie. On this side, they look pretty blurred and I have like really big pores here, so. That's impressive. It does have a smell to it. Um, I think it has lavender oil in it, so I'm definitely picking up that lavender-like fragrance. I don't mind some fragrance in my products. Okay, this side looks blurred as well. Um, it's just not as blurred as this side. Like, I can still see my pores, but like I said, they're huge, so. I'm just gonna use another pump because two is not enough. This is one of those foundations that's like makeup and skincare. It's got hyaluronic acid in it and antioxidants, vitamin C, vitamin E, and caffeine. So if you like skincare in your foundation, then definitely look into this one. Okay, I'm going in with the second layer on my cheek here because that's where I mentioned I have some more scarring. And yeah, no, the coverage is building up to be very beautiful. I'm, I'm impressed with the coverage so far because a lot of medium coverage foundations, I have to work a lot harder to get this same amount of coverage. Yeah, I would recommend using a primer though, um, just cause like even my smile lines, this side looks better than this side like already. I'm gonna do like obviously a wear test, um, but I'm taking my boyfriend out for dinner for his birthday tonight. 
So I like that just half of my face is gonna look really nice and perfect and then the other half is gonna be a hot mess. I hope the lighting's dark. So let's see if it's living up to the claims. Liquid formula, yes. Matte finish, yes. Medium coverage, yes. Medium full, dare I say. Long wear foundation, we'll find out. For a blurring effect and skin light matte finish. Yeah, definitely skin like, um, definitely blurring. So, so far it's living up to the claims. I guess we just have to see how long wearing it is. Um, what I'm gonna do is just like contour and conceal um, and just set my face as I usually do. I'm just gonna skip over that part just for the sake of keeping this video short. Okay, I did contour and concealer, um, but I actually wanted to show you guys how I'm gonna set with powder as well, just so you can kind of like get an idea of how much setting I'm, how much setting I'm doing um, so you can like determine how you're liking this foundation. I just got my Huda Beauty Loose Easy Bake Baking Powder. I think that's the name. I don't even know, it's so long. Um, but yeah, I'm just gonna take that on my sponge, press it in. Doing the same on both sides, um, just because there's no way I can leave my house without setting with powder. There's just no chance. I'm gonna look like a disaster in like 30 minutes if I don't. And now I'm just going to take a Morphe E3 and a little bit of powder, just however much is like left here, and just press that into my skin wherever I didn't use um, the beauty blender. Yeah, I'm just gonna do bronzer, blush, whatever, the rest of my face, and I'll be back. Okay, so the rest of my face is done. So I'm just gonna use my trusty Charlotte Tilbury setting spray. Um, I need like a paper or something to cover my face. All right, this works. Um, I just actually got a Charlotte Tilbury package in the mail. Okay, I'm gonna zoom in and show you guys how the foundation is looking. All right, so this is the side with no primer no setting spray um i do have my studio lights so it does look beautiful oh my goodness um but i'm also gonna take some videos in natural lighting so you can see it is blurring it is a very like natural skin like finish um but again with the primer the prime side does look a lot better and i do feel like the side with the setting spray is also gonna last much longer but um, yeah, I'm gonna head out to lunch actually. All right, so it's 2.39. Um, yeah, I'm heading out to lunch. I'm gonna try to like check in around 6.30, maybe after like four hours, um, see how it's looking. But yeah, I so far I love it. I think it looks beautiful. Like it's matte, but it's not too matte. Cause you know, like sometimes when it's too matte, it just looks very like dry and like I'm not a huge fan. Okay, I'm just in front of my window right now. It's a bit of a gloomy day. Um, focus. Here it is. Oh, the texture. I don't know if you can tell, but like this side, the like creasing is much worse on this side than on this side. But yeah, I think it still looks really good. Um, I'll see you guys in a bit. Okay, so it is about 5.30. Um, we just had lunch um and we're gonna go shopping the lighting is kind of like questionable here but i wanted to show you how it's looking before we go shopping because like i'm gonna have to wear the mask for a couple of hours um but it still looks pretty good i would say the prime side looks better but it's not like a huge noticeable difference hi guys i'm back home it is 709 so it's been about five hours that i've had this on um, I feel like from a distance on camera, it looks okay. Sorry, this coat is so noisy. Let me take it off. Okay, let me see if you guys will be able to see this. It's kind of like blotchy here on my jaw, which is crazy because I actually saw two, I watched two reviews on this foundation before I bought it. They said they didn't like it because it did this around the jaw, but I wanted to try it anyway because like I mentioned in my haul, Michaela was raving about it. I don't know if you can tell on camera, but in person, it's not cute, um, which is annoying because like I mentioned, I am going to dinner tonight and I'm not trying to like 
have a blotchy jaw so i don't know what to do um but for right now like it's been five hours and this is happening i'm not happy it's not worth 110 dollars like my 50 dollar foundation does not do this after five hours you know so it's kind of a bit disappointing um i'm now wondering like because i want to go to dinner and obviously look nice but I'm gonna have to like cover it up with more foundation. So I'm not sure if I should end the review like here or not because like I'm not gonna go out looking like this. Hi guys, so it is eight o'clock. I have to leave in like 15 minutes and it's been about six hours. I really wanted to do like a 10 hour wear test but it's only getting worse. Like the separation is getting worse. Um, honestly, that's like the main issue for me is that it's like, very blotchy around my jaw and like cheek there's creasing around my smile lines but that always happens no matter what foundation i wear both sides are equally as bad regardless of setting spray and primer so i don't know if that makes a difference to anyone but yeah like i said i really wanted to do a 10 hour wear test but if i fix it and then i come back in another four hours and my makeup looks good like that's not really a fair wear test um so i think i'm gonna end it here do i think the foundation's beautiful. Yes, once it's applied, it's beautiful. Do I think it's long wearing? Not for me personally. And I'm sorry, but for $110, I expect so much more. I can't picture myself reaching for this foundation very often because like I said, I have foundations that perform so much better and are half the price. So yeah, this is a pass for me. If you guys do want to try it out though, maybe get a sample or something because I've read so many reviews just raving about this product and I'm so upset because I really wanted to love it as well. Although, I mean, I guess it's kind of works in my favor. Now I'm not spending $110 on foundation. I do recommend trying out a sample though because you never know how a foundation is going to work with your skin. Yeah, and I think I'm going to end the video here because I have to fix this situation in like 10 minutes. So I thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed today's video. If you did, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. Feel free to leave me a comment down below. I love chatting with you guys in the comments. If you like this vibe, subscribe and I will see you guys next time. Bye!